Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I just got to the employee garage. It is 5.50. My sign in is at 6.11, so I need to get on the shuttle so that I can get to the airport in time. Another super early sign in, but I was able to prepare for it this trip. So I'm not as miserable as I was the other day when I had a 6 a.m. sign in. I got maybe like five hours of sleep, but that's better than three. So we love that. Also, I only do one leg today, one leg to Dallas. So super easy because that's probably only like a two and a half, three hour flight. I don't know the flight time for sure, but not bad at all. And then when we get to Dallas today, I am going to meet up with a friend from, well, so I met her in like maybe middle school, high school, um, cause I was friends with her younger sister. So her and I became friends probably when I was like in either middle school or high school. And then we, um, went to the same college. So we became really close in college, but she lives in Dallas now. So I'm going to meet up with her for lunch so super excited for that but let's go get into the airport so that i'm not late for signing we just got to the hotel it is 10 20 i'm gonna meet my friend at noon i'm not sure where yet we're still trying to figure that out so i've got a little bit of time before i need to head out so i'm gonna change clothes and maybe do my devotion really quick before i go meet her so there was a change of plans. I ended up just Ubering over to their house to spend the day with them. Look how cute baby Jack is. And we ended up going to lunch near their house at this little outdoor place. I don't remember what it was called because the weather was beautiful. We took Bentley Bear for a walk when we got back. So he is actually a couple months younger than Ozzy and they were friends when they were little. It was so cute. They used to have little play dates. Then we watched some Carolina sports, which they won every single thing they played that day. So it was great. That was such a good day today. I'm so happy I got to go see them. I've been trying to get a Dallas layover to see them like for so long. And so I'm so happy that it worked out. And their baby was like old enough to play with me and interact with me. The last time I saw him, he was kind of just like, nobody talked to me, I want to do my own thing. But he was so sweet. But it is eight o'clock right now and my alarm's gonna be going off at three, so I think that's eight hours of sleep if I did my math correctly. So I'm not gonna get eight hours of sleep, but I'm hoping I'm gonna take a shower, do my devotion since I wasn't able to do that before I left, and then get in the bed and try to get some sleep. So hopefully I can get at least six. I should be able to get at least six, but what a great first day one love it and i'm super excited because tomorrow i'm going to see another friend i think i mentioned that earlier so it's gonna be a great day too too i'm so excited so anyways yeah let's go hop in the shower so i've been noticing more hotels are starting to do where they put like the big bottles into the showers instead of giving the small bottles and the bar soap which that seems smart to me it's probably less wasteful but anyways i did my devotion and went to bed Good morning, it is day two. We do two legs today. We go through LA, end up in Austin. I have five minutes to catch the van, so I'm gonna have to tie my scarf when we get down there. I need to go catch the van so I'm not late. The nice thing about early morning flights is that the airport is so calm and chill because everybody's tired. And then when you get on the plane, you do your service, everybody just wants to sleep. So you can just sit and read, relax, drink your coffee. I warmed up a bagel for breakfast with some cream cheese and had a little string cheese, it was great. Then we ended up landing in the international terminal or that's where we parked the plane. And it's got all these super fancy like stores and stuff. It's a really nice terminal. If you're ever in LA and have time to kill, go there. But it is so far away from everything. You have to go through like these underground tunnels and stuff to get to the next terminal. It's crazy. By the way, you guys, this is my lead flight attendant. And he's losing his mind, okay? He I'm is not, unwell. I'm not meant for the big city life. <laughs> I want to go back to Memphis. Where they have smoking rooms and sweet tea. And that's where I'm from. I'm not used to this big city stuff. Take forever to get from A to B. I ain't never seen nothing like this, have you? I'm not allowed. Goodness. Y'all can see LA. 
But anyways, we made it to Austin. I was super excited when I got this layover on my schedule because I haven't had one in a long time and Austin is a really fun city to layover in. We just got to the hotel. It is 2.30. I'm not sure yet what time my friend and I are gonna go meet for dinner or I think she said she might come pick me up. So I'm not sure what time she's gonna do that. The um, place she sent me, they have happy hour from 4.30 to 6.30. So I don't know if we're gonna try to get there around 4.30 or just sometime in between that, I'm not really sure. But it is so nice outside. It's 75 degrees and sunny. So I'm gonna put my bathing suit on and go down to the pool for a little bit until I hear back from her about what time she wants to meet. And then we'll get ready to wait. But we are gonna enjoy the sun because you guys know I love the sun. I laid out for about an hour. I was at the pool by myself for a little bit and then my crew members ended up meeting me out. Then I got dressed, had to wear the boots for Texas, of course. And look how cute my friend is, y'all. Oh my goodness, I'm obsessed with her. This has just been the best trip catching up with friends. I'm so glad that it worked out for me to see like all my old friends from home, from college. Like, oh, I loved it. Like this has not even felt like work to me. I feel like I'm just like on a vacation like trip, just like hanging out with my friends. Like I love it so much. So super glad that I got to see my friend Rachel tonight. That was so fun catching up with her. And we ended up FaceTiming another one of our friends from college. So we all like talked on the phone for a little while, like so fun. I miss all of them. Like it stinks that we're not close together and can't just like hang out all the time, but it's so good to be able to just hang up, hang out and like catch up. But back to work stuff, it is almost nine o'clock our van time is at five so i'm gonna be getting up around four in the morning so that's eight hours from now so got back at a decent time we love that i'm going to wash my face really quickly and then i might take like a body shower and then do my devotion and try to get in the bed and get hopefully so last night i think i got about six and a half hours of sleep so hopefully i can get about the same tonight tomorrow is going to be our longest day as far as like working goes as our other ones it gets a little bit longer each day so like day one was only like a four hour due today day two like today was i think nine and tomorrow is gonna be 11 or a little over 11. so it's the longest day but it is go home day still only two legs which honestly the thing that takes it out of you on the longer days is when you're like having to board and deplane so many times so the fact that we only do it twice is really nice so we go back to LA tomorrow and then LA to Charlotte so long day but as long as everything goes smoothly it won't be that bad and we'll get home around 5 which will be nice but yeah I need to get in the bed so that is all for day two another fun layover we love that I will see you guys in the morning for day number three go home day Good morning guys, it is day three go home day. I am quickly packing up my food in my lunchbox because I only have like five minutes to leave time, so don't wanna be late. I usually try to get down to the van at five minutes till, but we're in a little bit behind. I had a weird thing happen with my TV, or like, I don't know if it was the TV or what it was, but so this morning my alarm went off and I was like debating on whether or not to like sleep in and just not put makeup on today and while I'm like debating that all of a sudden this audio goes off and it's like I've been trying to reach somebody but I can't get an answer and I was like what in the heck and then it switched to like a news report then it switched to like some like reality tv show audio or like that's what it sounded like and it was like switching between all these things but my tv wasn't on but it was like audio so then i was like maybe it's my like neighboring rooms audio so i like got kind of walk up but it was coming out of my tv so then i cut my tv on and it went away and then i cut my tv back off and it was fine <laughs> but i was like that's so weird <laughs> so that got me out of the bed and i was able to put my makeup on but let's go catch the van the Austin airport has this restaurant that has pre-made breakfast burritos. So I got a sausage, egg, and cheese and a bacon, egg, and cheese to compare them and see which one I liked better. I think I like the bacon better. Then I have my coffee, of course. We went back through LA and then through Charlotte. Our flight to LA was super light, so we love that. And morning flights are easy, like I said earlier. Here was a little cockpit view for you. It was really cloudy. 
so not much of a view. I'm obsessed with the Starburst Berry Berry Jelly Beans. Like, I love Easter candy. It's the best. Then when we got to LA, we had a little bit of time, so we cut all the lights off to try to take a nap. Didn't work that great, but that's okay. I wanted to eat my bean dip as a snack, but it was frozen. So I didn't get to eat it. That was sad. But I'm obsessed with our biscuits that we have on in first class when we have the super long morning flight. So I had a biscuit with honey. It was so good. Then finally my bean dip was thawed, so I was able to eat it. Love that. Then for lunch, I had some leftover bacon chicken ranch pasta. It hit the spot. It was great. What is he on, y'all? We don't even know. I gotta look nice for the people who show. Maybe I'll find somebody. <laughs> Once again, ladies and gentlemen, to report the landing, we ask that you close. You guys, we had way too much fun that trip. We were just a whole mess, the crew of four that we had. Like, we all got along so well. We were all just joking and laughing, like, literally the entire trip. Like, pastors are looking at us, like, what are y'all on? Because y'all are cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Like, so fun to work with so i made this three day go by so much faster also we left on time got in on time every single leg of the trip so we love that we got in super early so it's 507 and i'm in my car and we were not originally supposed to get into charlotte until 507 so we already landed deplaned got to my car in all that time so we got in super early which we love on go home day but I need to go straight home because I'm supposed to do a whole another three day tomorrow and it's a 6 a.m. sign in. So I'm going to be getting up at three in the morning for like the fourth day in a row, which is going to be crazy. I have it up to drop right now, but it's been up to drop since I've had it on my schedule and it's just not dropping. So I also have it in to trade. So maybe tonight it'll trade for something that signs in a little bit later, but we'll see about that it's kind of harder to do that the day before but maybe i'll wake up in the morning and i won't have to be at the airport at six maybe i can be there a little bit later but yeah so i need to get home i as of right now i'm not planning on vlogging that trip because when i get back from that trip the next day i start a weekend trip with my family so i've just got a lot going on these next couple days and then i'll have a day off after that and then i start another three day and then another three after that so like this month is going to be really hectic right now they have me at 101 hours worth of flying you guys the most flying I have ever done in a month is like 85 86 so that's 15 extra hours of flying that I have like never done in my entire career as a flight attendant so I'm um, like mm, if I end up working all of this that's going to be kind of crazy i'm sure the paycheck will look really nice but that's gonna be like really crazy and i'll probably be just like so wiped out but anyways let's go home um so tomorrow if i start this trip it'll be the last time i'm able to park in this garage if it does end up dropping then this is gonna be the last time i can park in this garage we're supposed to be switching to a different lot on the 8th and today's the 6th so that stinks because we all got super spoiled with this garage but they have to use it for people now so well we're people they have to use it for passengers now which is just really sad because we love this garage but anyways thanks for watching hopefully i can get that crew again when i don't already have plans on all my layovers and we can all hang out on the layovers because that would be super fun but this was a really good trip. I mean, the early sign-ins, but to be honest, when I'm on the trips, the early sign-ins don't bother me. It's really just when I start the trip with the early sign-in because I have to add in that extra time just to get to the airport. So I'm getting up even earlier than I would like normally, which I have started like bidding for like, I can do a 6 a.m. sign-in now. Like at first I was like, no, I don't want to do that. But usually those trips have better layovers and you get done earlier on the last day. So I've been trying to bid for some of those um, every now and then. I don't do them all the time, but now I'm more okay with like if it's a really good trip, I'll bid for it. But yeah, um, thanks for watching, guys. I think that's all I have to say. So... As always, any questions, comments, whatever, put them in the comment section below. And 
I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.